what does it take to pull off a successful ICO, especially in, in a Pan African country? Yeah, so I think there are a lot of factors involved in putting something like that off. Um, it needs to be very legitimate in, in, in the first instance, so it's not about a, trying to raise funds as a primary motivation. You need to have a real underlying use case for the cryptocurrency that you're trying to issue. Uh, you also need to, you know, be, be quite knowledgeable about what you're trying to do. So, you know, do a lot of research, get a lot of quality knowledgeable people on your team that can help you really think through the use case and the actual tech implementation and then you need to be able to package the story in a way that the world and your potential backers can understand so your packaging your marketing your materials has to sort of exude quality and more so for african ventures where you know we're not sort of used to the space and we need to do a little more to prove ourselves so having the right backers the right people on the team the right messaging and the right story will really result in a very successful project, I think. So it was basically successful, or rather a match made in heaven based on your uh, networking capabilities, right? Yeah, absolutely. We had a real business that, that was you know, begging for this type of use case. Uh, we had a network that, of people that could really support us in our, on our deployment. We have uh, backers from our existing business as well that are very highly reputable, like 500 startups, Greenhouse Capital. Our team had pretty decent pedigree as well. All of those factors combined, uh, as well as just, just our normal experience in running quality projects and running quality processes, came together to really uh, result in a very successful project.